it's freaking rock. So this is a like point and click old bit PC kind of game. Uh, but it's also a roguelike, I think. There's not a lot of carryover between the uh, the runs uh, that makes it easier, except for just knowledge. So I don't think it's a roguelite. Um, I'm going to get one of these. It's a little calmer on the eyes. I f There's one of them I like a little bit more. It's like a brown. I'm just going to go with that. Um, all right. So I'm going to customize our playthrough. And I'll try to run through this stuff as we go through it. So we got a number of different characters. Uh, they all have their strengths and weaknesses, so they'll have starting stats, which we'll go over here in a second. What up, bro? Jabroni. Jabro-bro-bro-bro-broni. Uh, so all these characters have different starting skills that are going to be a little harder, so they're kind of built for different things, different builds. Built for builds. Um, and then they will have different passives. Um, so the main girl that you start with, uh, Kyrie, uh, is good with knowledge, not good with strength, and starts with spells. So her build would be kind of one focused on keeping your reason up uh, and casting spells uh, or having some kind of weapon that scales with knowledge. Um, other characters are going to have different things. Um, like Aiko has high dexterity. Um, so she can use, like, a knife really well and can get more, like, actions in per turn of combat. Um, uh, Mimi is, like, like a nurse or something like that. So she has some healing capabilities. Um, she can, uh, Mizuki has, like, a thing where she can get people to fight for her a little more easily. So they all have their own like passives and bonuses and stuff. Um, I think I'm going to go with... I'm trying to think if there's anybody I haven't beat. Like, I've only beat beat the game a couple of times. I've only succeeded in a couple of runs. I think I'll go with her. Uh, barely surviving a ghost of a drowning man kept her underwater. She is determined to solve this mystery. So bonus to dexterity. Negative knowledge. Starts at the combat speed bonus. That seems good. Um, then you can customize your backstory. I'm going to choose no backstory, uh, cause the other one sucks. <laughs> uh, medical history, brittle bones run in your family and you've spent each summer in a cast. You start with extra XP and bandages, but an injury may occur whenever you take damage. It seems like shit. So we're just going to do, uh, no effect, no bonuses, uh, no downsides. Seems good to me. Um, and then from here... Uh, I don't really, I don't know exactly what all these things do. Um, yeah, that's not even out yet. And then there's like an endless mode, which I'm not prepared for. So we're just going to go with classic mode. Old gods are awakening. We have to solve some mysteries, uh, to make sure their ass stays in space. Somewhere a group of people gathers trying to awaken their master. Um, so right now we only have access to four of the eldritch gods, the old gods. Um, from what I understand, you do specific like achievements in the game, and that unlocks more characters, and unlocks more events, and unlocks more Elder Gods. Um, so the more you play, um, the more you have unlocked to do. So the more you play, the more new stuff you get to play. Um, the only one I haven't seen to completion uh, that I haven't beat yet was Athiolzathes, Yolazith. Uh, the Mad God favors astronomers and magicians, granting them its gift of power that unknowingly brings Ath Yolizeth's bloated body closer and closer to Earth. Uh, there's also a Spider God, um, a Burning God, the Devouring Fire, and probably my g vote for the coolest name, uh, the Thing Forsaken by God. He lives in a mirror dimension. Uh, we're going to go with the Towering Eye. All of them have bonuses like bonuses in like problems that affect the entire run um, so for our boy Ath here casting spells that would normally cast reason increase doom instead uh, so we'll go over the stats here in just a second loving the art style is, this game is so freaking pretty in its own weird way I love it so much 
All right, so here is our character sheet. We've got our stats here, stamina, which is like our health points, reasoning, which is our mind points. If either one of these reaches zero, we lose. Um, so we don't want that. And then we've got strength, dexterity, perception, knowledge, charisma, funds, so money. Uh, and then there's an invisible stat luck that I don't know if we can see. Um, either way, different events will occur and they'll do different dice roll in the background uh, against our stats. If we pass, good things happen. If we fail, bad things happen. Uh, so as you get to know the game, uh, you will understand what your character's strengths are and know which events you kind of want to see, which mysteries you want to solve, um, and like what bad thing is okay to happen to your character. There's really no great things that happen, but what it has the least effect on you. Um, we have no rituals active. I don't even know how to do those yet, I don't think. Uh, we have one spell, uh, support healing uh, at the cost of experience we can lose, or we can gain reason. So we can heal ourselves for the cost of XP. You can see XP right here. Um, whenever that reaches 100, we can level up, giving us a new passive, uh, and the ability to either heal stamina or reason for a little bit, or boost one of our stats. Um, let's see, we don't have any items yet, which we would see here. We can equip them here. Uh, and then we don't have any passives. This is where our passives would show up. This will include good things, like um, buffs to your flat buffs to knowledge or perception or something like that, or terrible things like you've got a sliced open hand or you have suicidal tendencies uh, or you are cursed or whatever, and that will show up there as well. Um, after every mission mystery you solve, a town status will appear, um, which is basically some kind of new effect that you have to deal with, like... Um, Threat levels in a certain area are going to be higher, so you're more likely to fight people exploring a certain place. Um, our spells now cost more to cast, stuff like that. Um, and I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, the city is changing so fast, you can barely recognize it anymore. Uh, so certain locations only have a... Uh, they, have, they only have a set amount of locations you can go to. Um, for buffs and bonuses and stores and stuff. Uh, so you have to choose between the list. I'm fine with just going for a shop and a police station. Uh, the occult shop is probably pretty good too. Um, but there's a secret in the police station that I want to show off just in case. I don't think I've unlocked any of the other places in the other main hubs. So we'll start here. Check my mailbox. It is empty. Um, Alright, so here's the first secret that I learned. If you go to change your clothes, not only can you change your clothes and be a super cutie. I'm going to go with this one. I think it's cute with the little glasses. Uh, if you see this little toy right here, there's no indication that this is clickable, but if you click it, you get a free money. Pretty cool. I only learned that because of Reddit. Um, boop, boop, boop. Let's start a new mystery. Inexplicable, inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Uh, so we have five things we need to solve. Solving these five things uh, will unlock the lighthouse, and that is where like the end of the run is. And then you'll have like one little gauntlet to get through. You get through the gauntlet at the lighthouse, um, and you will banish the old god. All of these mysteries, um, you can see, have at least two endings. So how you tackle the mysteries will change the endings, um, whether it's finding new information that unlocks a new dialogue choice, or finding an item that will allow you to interact with something differently. Um, there are different things you can get. And once you learn about them, just like with normal events that we'll see here in a second, you can figure out like, okay, I am not set to fight this boss, so I'm going to do this thing that gets the boss out of here. Or I know this boss is easy and it's better than not fighting it, or there's some kind of reward to fighting the boss, so I'm going to choose to fight this person because I will benefit from it in the long run. Um, so I've seen all of these, except for this one, Freaky Feature of Found Footage. 
So we'll go with the new one first. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Now, on the first anniversary, anniversary, anniversary of their disappearance, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he, and what did the students discover out there? So let's start investigating. All right, so up in the corner here, um, you'll see kind of a brief summary of like what's happening so far. So three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore. Maybe you'll find a clue about their last known whereabouts in the school newspaper. So here are all the places we can travel. We've got apartments, downtown, school, hospital, whole bunch of places. So the one circled is the place that we have to explore. Uh, but you'll see here we've got like a side story that we can do. Um, these are different per mystery. Um, sometimes they seem to give you the items or knowledge that you need in order to get a different ending. Sometimes I haven't been able to figure out what the differences are. That could just be my lack of understanding, my lack of knowledge, or it could be uh, that they don't do anything. I don't know. Uh, so this says we need to investigate the mansion uh, twice to complete this quest. So maybe that will give us information about this case. So let's go to the mansion and we'll investigate it. So we'll do a little thing, and every single time you investigate a place, you will have some random event pop up. There's no control over what that event is, um, and then you'll get a choice sometimes about what it is. Sometimes bad things just happen, sometimes good things happen, sometimes it's a win-lose. Uh, as you learn about the events, you'll be able to hopefully remember them and do something about it. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old, rundown mansion room that stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Leave through the other door or search the room. I don't think I've run into this one yet. So search the room probably is a perception check. Um, my perception's fairly high. Let's try it. Uh, okay, there's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use one item you do find. So we got an energy drink. Plus one dexterity until the end of the current mystery. So that's not bad. We already have pretty high dexterity, so I'll save this. Um, and see if we run into a, like, if I know there's a boss coming up. Most of the time they do end in bosses. So if I feel like a boss is coming up, maybe I'll use it. Or you can just sell some items. This one doesn't have any value, though. Inspect, not the healthiest thing in the world. Then we won't do anything. So we'll resolve... So you can see one out of two uh, investigations complete here. So let's investigate again. In the okay, in the middle of a room, you see a man tied to a chair. You rush in to help. When you remove his gag, though, the man starts shouting curses and ancient prophecies. You fall into the floor, your mind flooding with unspeakable images as the man slowly stands up, completely ignoring the chair he was seemingly tied to. So combat time, cult member. So you can see their HP. Uh, doom, so the damage they do. Uh, enemies can either attack Stamina, Reason, or Doom. Doom um, is a constant percentage that goes up anytime you make an action. If it reaches 100%, uh, this run is over. The Old God has won. I've never seen that yet. I kind of want to see it, so maybe we'll do it on purpose uh, just to see what happens. I don't know exactly what power does. Uh, oh, it tells me. The stat defines your chance to successfully attack the enemy. The higher its power, the harder it will be. Currently, your chance to hit is lowered by 10%. So if you have some kind of item that lowers power, it increases your uh, hit chance, it seems. So this guy's going to do a little bit of doom every match, or every round. Oh, shit, I forgot to buy a weapon. <laughs> That's the first thing you're supposed to do, is go to the store and buy a weapon. <laughs> But what we can do is uh, figure out what we got here. So I don't have any equipped weapon weapons, so I can't use these things. I can kick him, which will do two damage. Uh, or I can look for an improvised weapon. So everything has time. You have 200 time points. Different actions need different amounts of time, so you can only do so much per turn. Uh, you have lots of different options. Uh, 
combat skills, assessing the situation. This will teach you about the enemy, so if it's a new enemy and you don't know what they're like, uh, if you want to see if they have any special abilities, you can do that. I don't have a weapon, so let's improvise a weapon, and uh, let's kick him. We're going to kick his ass. And all right, we found a broken bottle. So let's go ahead and quickly equip this thing. That's good. So now, instead of just kicking, which does two damage, we can attack him with a broken bottle for three damage or four damage. But our chance to hit is only 60. That's pretty low. So what we can do is... Normally you would brace for impact, uh, but this guy's only going to do one damage no matter what. So there's not real. I don't think you can brace for z and take zero damage, so we're going to ignore that. What we are going to do is prepare your attack. So this guarantees a hit. We're going to do that and hit, that and hit. So two guaranteed hits, each one doing three damage, so we've got a guaranteed six. There we go. And I think we can just do the same thing again, and we should be able to kill him. Bam. Bam. There we go. So he dropped a curious statuette. Resolve our uh, combat there. The legend says the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. Points you to a specific direction, potentially saving you some time. Alright, so that will likely come in handy later. So let's check. Uh, curious statuette. Uh, plus one knowledge while held in inventory. So, a nice free just buff to our knowledge as long as we have this thing. You can store items, because you can only hold so much unless you pick up a backpack. If you equip a backpack, you can hold more stuff. Um, so first thing, uh, I'm going to go downtown, and I'm going to go shop for items. Because look at this cute little bastard. Look at this little guy. He's the best. We love him so much. Alright, so... Ah, oh, crap, the compass isn't here. I usually go for compass, um, but flashlight's pretty helpful. Um, so we could restock things and re-roll. It'll cost us some doom, um, but we can come back later, too. Um, let's grab the flashlight, because not only is it going to give us a bus buff to our perception, um, there are a number of events that require you to have a light source to to like not have a bad thing happen to you or to increase your chances of a slightly good thing happening. So we're gonna buy that flashlight and don't forget to equip it, you big old dum-dum. There we go. So now we can actually start with the mission proper. So it says we need to investigate the school because we need to figure out what's happening in the newspaper. And this town has just terrible things happening to it. So we will find bad things happening absolutely everywhere. Oh, I guess my, uh, I guess my face is kind of in the middle of the uh, screen there. Maybe I'll put my face in front of the, in front of the lady, or maybe I'll just do a, I'll just do a, just a, the camless. I'll just do a camless, I guess. Put my face on the lady, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm just gonna go away. I'll just go away. I dressed up for the event. I put on all my Junji Ito clothes, and then uh, I decided to go just not show myself. So you'll have to believe me. All right. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Locations threat level increases. So that was just a bad thing that happened. That was just a shit time for all for all involved. The notes mention a village not far from your town. You decide to take the bus. Getting closer, you can't help but notice a large number of trees that have suddenly died. What happened here? So now we're moving to the downtown area. So another secret I learned, if you go to the police station, there's a little drawer right here. Again, no indication that you can click this, but handcuffs, free handcuffs. No one will notice. While in your inventory, lower human enemy power by five. So this is just going to increase our chance to hit anytime we encounter a human enemy. Uh, or you can use it at any time. It will be lost, but you can defeat a human enemy immediately, provided they have 12 or less health. Stealing from cops in the police station. Obviously. It's the, it's the best choice. What are they going to do? They're busy hunting down maniacs or whatever. This whole town's gone to shit. Uh, so what you can actually do in the, uh, the police station is ask for 
police patrols in an area which will lower the threat level, meaning you're going to run into fewer enemies in those locations. I've never done that before. I have uh, no need to. You can also uh, trade in experience for money. So if you really, really need money, uh, you can lose some experience in order to get monies. We're not going to do that. The notes mentioned a villas. village, that's right, okay. So we'll investigate downtown again. The, let's face it, the police don't need those handcuffs. The investigation is taking a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Plus four to doom. There we go, just a terrible thing. Life sucks. Everyone in the village is unsettlingly, unsettlingly friendly. An old farmer points you to an old stone. The missing group supposedly started their forest trip there. Here we go. Let's investigate. This trail uh, to an abandoned Shinto shrine is overgrown and steep. However, it could be an important place to investigate. Take the quick route. Take the safe route. I'm going to assume, because I've never seen this event before, the quick route will cause me to do a dexterity check. The safe route is probably going to either decrease my stamina or increase my doom. I think I, I think I have the stats for this, so let's take the quick. All right, it was a strength check, <laughs> which I failed. You hurt your knee badly when you step when you step on a loose stone and fall down. You limp back to the village to get the injury checked. So uh, I failed my roll, just barely. Uh, and I lost health because of it. Life is terrible. Uh, looking back one last time, you continue deeper into the woods. All right, so I think because we completed this uh, mansion thing, uh, it took away some of these options. Uh, so we don't have to fumble around nearly as much as usual. But it is still just a guessing game on where we need to go next. Doo -doo. All right, the suspicious group you've been following is gathering in a nearby forest. They're enacting some sort of ritual and are clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. Uh, we do not have the ritual robe item, so we can't do the other option. We must climb. Hey, all right, a strength check, success. You managed to see some of their faces and hear the names of the group, so we got some XP from that. Good job, us. Good job. I'm gonna lower the volume just a smidgen. So, okay, perfect. So this is exactly why we pick up the flashlight. A sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave walls. If we didn't have our flashlight, we would only have the option of trying to decipher them, which is, I think, a knowledge check. Um, but we have our flashlight. The flashlight's beam reveals additional symbols hidden in the shadows. They help you interpret the spell instructions drawn on the cave wall. So we get a free spell. Third eye. Okay, plus one knowledge and perception until the end of the mystery. Doesn't stack. Costs three reasons. So we can sacrifice some spiritual health, some sanity, uh, in order for... A decent buff for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the uh, the run. Knowledge and perception is fairly important. I kind of just want to see what happens. A lot of the times when you do things like this to your character, um, it actually changes their little uh, their little portrait. So let's see if she gains a third eye. She did not. But sometimes if you get like uh, shot or cut up um, or gain gills and shit like that, uh, it will show up on your character's portrait. the abandoned hut okay the rumored witch house seems empty in the basement however you find a camera pointed at the large hole in the ground on the table next to the camera you see three cassettes each titled after one of the missing friends then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole <gasps> so we can either take the cassettes and run or peek inside yes uh if you eat some questionable food uh you will start to get the Innsmouth look about you, and you will gain gills. It does something. I don't remember what the uh, what the passive does, but you will gain gills. Um, let's be let's be mad lads and uh, peek inside. Did I cast third eye? I don't think it. Pa oh, it, oh, that's right. Uh, it costs doom because of the uh, the other. Uh, because the Elder God's influence. Uh, let's peek inside. 
Ew. You kneel down and lean forward to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you are looking at. It's a gigantic eye staring right at you. Hypnotized, you continue to lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as the gargantuan beast lures you in. Let's lose consciousness. <laughs> at the very last moment, the suspicious tall man grabs you by the collar. He explains he is part of a cult protecting the house and the mysterious entity below it. You've got a bigger purpose than to die here, he says before knocking you out. You wake up a few hours later on a bus heading back to your home, so that was ending B. So we either didn't have the item in order to like fight the enemy, uh, that probably would have led to endings A or C, or we could have just grabbed the cassettes and ran, uh, that probably would have been one of the other endings as well. So for solving the mystery, um, we get I, the force is restless, I assume that's just a world passive or something, we'll find out in a second. Knowledge is key, we gain 30 experience. Uh, we gain 15 more experience um, because we investigated the extra bit. There's still hope. So because we solved a mystery, the doom level went down. Because we did not rest at all, we gained one reason and one stamina. Um, and time passed by one day. So every single time you do a mission, a new town status is up. So fetid fumes. The air feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. So let's see what that did. Your rest action is less effective. So if you wanted to rest at home, it's not going to be as helpful anymore. Because fuck you, right? Um, all right, so what was the eye thing? It's, I guess it was just a passive thing for um, for the forest. It's just, uh, it's, just a le it's just a worse place. Rest being less effective. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's that's what happens when when fetid fumes are about. How you doing, Lord? Good to see you. Uh, so every single time you uh, finish a mystery, you'll get a key, uh, and that key will help you um, get to uh, the lighthouse. So another fun thing you can do: uh, take a bath. Let's just take a bath. So here you can either recover reason, recover. Stamina or get a little bit of free XP. So we're going to do S XP. Our stamina and reason are fine right now. Uh, so let's go and let's change our outfit again. Let's be cuties. There we go. She looks great. She's so cute. There we go. All right. So let's see. We got four more mysteries to solve. We'll start with this one. I've done I've done both of these, so I think I know the creepier option. Uh, sorrowful saga of the moonlit sailors. It began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean, a dark, writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it, not to be seen until one moonlit night when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away. The single lantern swinging at the helm and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile ooze in their nets, and one by one they are disappearing. Soon the ocean will have taken them all. Alright, um, so hooks and nets is our side quest here. By doing this one it does um, change the ending. It says there are three endings to this one. I haven't figured out how to get the other one. You need your fish and chips? Well, too bad. You do not want to eat the fish and chips of, of this town, my friend. You will uh, you will not do well. Save the fisherman? I have not found out how to save the fisherman. <laughs> I've found out um, how to... Uh, I don't even know how to, how to describe it. I'll do the creepier thing, um, and maybe we can figure out what the other thing is. Uh, so to do um, one of the missions, we have to discard items. So that's fine. We can do that kind of quickly because... Oh, did I already discard the... Uh... Oh, that's right. I still have the broken bottle. All right. Uh, let's go downtown. Making our way downtown. Whoring our way downtown. All right. So let's go shop for the items because our best boy here is here to help. 
Um, damn, nothing I want. Um, let's restock. Okay, good. At least the compass is here. I, w I would like the compass. Still no weapon for us, though. We are kind of struggling here. So the compass is great uh, because it gives you XP every single time you investigate something. It's just really good. The earlier you can get it, the better. Uh, yeah. So we've got a flashlight and a compass ready to explore. Let's investigate downtown. Hi, dog. That's a good. He's a good doggy. Sometimes bad things happen to doggy though, so we have to be very careful. Careful to protect our sweet, sweet boy. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful. Uh, so you can invite her to a coffee or chat. Let's uh, let's go out for some coffee. In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the earth once again. Could this be the reason for recent horrific events? So we lost some monies for buying the coffee, but we gained XP. Is it worth it? Who knows? Although you brave the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that, fisherman, that the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. So let's go see if we can find the fisherman's wife. The only metro line in your town connects the university and the science complex. You could take a ride to gain some gain some time, but you've got a feeling something is wrong. Where are all the people? Uh, let's walk. Walking to your destination takes precious time. Doom go up. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering in through the dusty windows, you recoil in shock. It's gross as shit in there. Let's see. Ooh. The round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. So if we had the perk for quick thinking, um, we would be able to overcome it. Um, so we could either fight it or get lost in the light. Let's try to fight it. That was a terrible charisma failure. <laughs> you don't have the strength to move a finger. The blinding light is growing larger and larger. To your shock, you can't feel the ground under your feet. Lose one reason. Uh-oh. Lost in time and space. You drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Oh, God. I've not, I haven't seen this. Oh. Deserted temples overlook the giant corpses of the forgotten beasts. With no priests to harvest it, their blood is slowly flooding the valley. Oh, it's a shame we don't have an empty container to con collect some blood. Uh, start climbing the temple or submerge yourself in the sacred blood. The Pukey Sphinx. I have three riddles. The answer to all of them is... My gross-ass puke blood. Um, let's see. Uh, let's do the creepy thing and submerge ourselves in the blood. <laughs> You take a step into the pool of blood. The crimson liquid burns your skin through your clothes. Besides the boiling blood, something else rushes into your ear canals. The voices of countless scholars revealing forbidden secrets. So we lost a bunch of stamina uh, and gained reason, which didn't matter because we were at max reason. So that did nothing for us. Except for give us knowledge, which I guess is a good thing in the metagame. So now I will know. Uh, does it tell me what my max is if I hover over this? No? Okay. Uh, can't investigate our home, so let's go to the mansion. The fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered with black marks. There she is, all dead and whatnot. That'll teach her for living in this town. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. She got oozed. She got fisherman oozed. All right, so let's level up. So we've got a couple options here. Fast swimmer gives us faster offensive actions, which is pretty good um, for fighting. Running shoes. Smaller doom penalty from running for combat. We don't run. We're not freaking cowards. Our art, art knowledge, which gives us a flat plus one to perception. Uh, I'm going to go with fast swimmer. So our other options are buffing one of our stats or giving ourselves a heal. 
Um, stamina actually isn't that low, so let's buff our dexterity some more. There we go. In the mirror, yeah. Surely someone else must have caught one of these. You look around, hoping to spot someone. Where are all the gross fishy people at? All right, investigate the seaside. You bought a new item, woof. The military exercise makes you feel safer, but are guns enough to stop the unspeakable horrors lurking out there? Plus four to doom, plus two to reason. Again, we have maxed reason, so uh, that actually does nothing for us. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his reply as he caresses his catch. The beating movements of his arm disturb you. I would really like uh, a chance to get something here. Maybe let's let's visit the hardware shop. Ooh, a puck. I don't have money. Oops, I shouldn't I shouldn't have done did that. He was probably very upset with me, trying to rip him off. We're just stuck here. Stop, this is a crime scene. You are halted by a sweaty police officer. Behind him, two other policemen are packing something into black bags. Try to learn what happened. Focus on the officers. Uh, let's let's see if we can learn. Uh, rolled. All right, a luck failure. You managed to catch a glimpse of a corpse with a crushed head. Blood and gore is spilled everywhere on the sand. Uh, because we failed, we lost reason. That's fine. Apparently, we can just gain it whenever we want. Uh, after a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. So let's investigate the seaside. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. Good. Good. More reason. We are becoming less reasonable. So we did not have enough time to do the hooks and nets because we didn't find anything to discard. You slip out at night and race towards the beach, terrified of what comes next. Let's investigate. The full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink-black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only audible sounds are your ragged breathing and a pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. The possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. So, whatever it was, we uh, sometimes if you have another option, it shows up here. Uh, we did not learn whatever that option is, uh, so we're kind of fucked. Hypnotized, you watch as they bob their way out of the harbor. Their lanterns move farther and farther away, and you hear the odd chanting slowly fade with the wind. You stand in the cold until the final boat is out of sight, and it is pitch black again. There's nothing to do now. You head home, the weird chant still in your head. Look at him. He's fine. I think we saved him. I think we saved him. This is a man with a face that has been saved. We did it. No one spoke. <laughs> Unreasonable. I'm so under. I, I can't be reasoned with right now. No one spoke of the fishermen after they sailed off. Grieving mothers would not let their children anywhere near the cursed beach. Over time, people forgot the last time they saw a boat out on the waves. That was ending B. Uh, so missing sailors. So there are new events available if we go to the seaside. We got some experience. The doom went down. Uh, we gained a little bit of reason and stamina. Uh, and a day passed. He's fine. Don't mind the bloody tears. He's just a real big fan of freaking Castlevania. Freaky flood. Did the water level suddenly increase, or is our city slowly sinking? Exploring the seaside location has a chance of inflicting drenched status. So I've never seen that before. I don't know what's going to happen. All right, so we got a new key for completing that mystery. Let's go take a bath. Um, let's see. Our reason and stamina are both pretty pretty fine. Uh, so let's just get a free XP boost. And to the next mystery. The ep eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Far out fable of a fear festival. The bizarre brute of the blood-curdling botanist. 
Uh, so all of these I've done before. Um, this one's pretty tough, I think. Um, the Botanist. The Fear Festival. I, I think I'm close to figuring out what the last one for this one is. I haven't, I haven't eked it out just yet. Um, and I've done a couple of the eel ones. I know how to at least... I, I think I know how to get the two eels. Um, I know how to get the two endings. I just don't know how to do the third. Um, so let's see. I'm going to do the eels. I like eels. I'm a big fan of eels. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex. It's Kana! That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, he returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? What weird fish did he bring this time? It's the eel deal. Yes, sir. Can you go play outside? Uh, yeah. Oh, and I still have Bella's car. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Finally. Finally? She's back home? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, you can play outside. Yeah. Just try to keep it down because Luna's sleeping, okay? Okay. Thanks, dude. Ichthyology. Ichthyology? That means someone studies fish. What? That's what ichthy means. Yeah, it means fish. <laughs> <laughs> Ichthyology. <laughs> That's a real word, yeah. Ichthyology. Ichthyology. <laughs> it is, yeah, you can be an ichthyologist if you want. Ichthyologist. Ichthyology. <laughs> yeah. So silly. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Remember to not slam the doors. Thank you. Uh, so for this mission, uh, we've got Kana with us. Kana. A friendlier neighbor. She's important. She receives you receive less damage from attacks during combat encounters because she's here. Thanks, Kana. She smiles faintly at us. Thank you. All right. Uh, I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Uh, so if we investigate the seaside, we might learn a little bit. And we might get drenched. That could be fun. Let's see. The town's docks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden temple occupies the small hill at the town's center. So we can look for a job. We can try to recruit allies, or we can pray. Uh, let's look for a job so we can get some freaking money. Yeah. Strength success. There's always a job for a strong person like you. Oh, game. Thank you. Oh, that, that, that makes me feel good. You help with... Thank you, buddy. It's okay, dude. Don't worry. You help with moving crates and exchange recent seaside gossip with the other workers. So we gained two bucks and some money. That's good for us. Let's investigate again. Let's see if we can press our luck. Oh, yeah, we're drenched. Let's see what drenched does to us. All combat actions are slower until the end of the current mystery. Your wet clothes stick to your skin, slowing you down. We're a very strong Japanese schoolgirl. It's because we're a swimmer. Uh, so, yeah, because we're drenched, you can see that, like, our little character portrait has some little, little wetness on her. Following a barking sound, you found yourself on a beach surrounded by rocks. Oh, good. It's a goblin seal. <laughs> Look at this cute little thing. Look at him. Doll. He's cute in a very ugly way. I kind of love him. Don't look at that. <laughs> What'd that mouth do? <laughs> Ooh, baby, that mouth. Uh, so let's see. He's got a decent amount of health. Uh... It's got good, it does one damage per round. Let's see if we can find uh, another improvised weapon that's better than a freaking broken bottle. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, or we're going to try to just uh, uh, slap, uh, slap him. Can we slap him? Yeah, all right, we hit. Another broken bottle. It's a shame we can't dual wield. 
All right. Um, I think we're kind of screwed. This is why you're supposed to have money in order to buy a knife or something. All right. So we've got a 66 chance, 66 chance to hit. That's kind of bad. Um, so let's just do some attacking. Bam. Bam. Oh. Right, he's got 12 health left. Can we throw the bottle at him? Is this a free action? <laughs> Whoa, that did three damage. That's not bad. We <laughs> should go to Walmart and get a shotgun. Uh, I haven't found guns yet. There, I know guns are in the game, but I have not found one. Because uh, there are, there are like... Uh, Passives and, and perks that go with them, but I have not I have not procured a gun yet So let's do a couple more slashies there we go and let's Let's try to improvise another weapon here um, And let's see if we can hit him please hit yay we killed the goblin seal Not Okay, we got we got something in our stored uh, stored luggage. You may be going crazy, but you swear something is watching you from the sea. So let's see, what did we get? Another broken bottle. Aren't we lucky? Um, let's see. We're doing the eels. I don't think there's a boss fight in this in this uh, level, so I won't I won't drink the energy drink. I know there's a boss fight in the um, the botanist one, so we'll save our energy drink for that. Um, let's go back. Time to investigate the apartments. If I can find some more money, I will... Oh, no. This... She doesn't look good. Uh, I'll, I'll try to find a knife. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. <laughs> it would, it's the damnedest thing damnedest thing. Uh, my, my shower was broken, uh, and blood just came out of the faucet. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower head started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Well, let's check it out. A knowledge check. Success. You don't... <laughs> you don't enter the bathroom. <laughs> Instead, you go straight to the building's boiler room. One pipe coming from the ground looks like it was welded to the central system recently. Where does it lead? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so that gained us some experience. Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. So we're just going to break into a guy's house. Find some weird, uh, some weird eels. This door shouldn't be there. It shouldn't lead anywhere. More importantly, it shouldn't pull you in. Let's go. Slowly, you went enter the unknown. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. A parasitic star is looming over the dying civilization. Is this the fate of our planet as well? So we can enter the destroyed temple, venture further into the desert, dig through the sand a little bit. Um, uh, let's have some fun. Let's 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 dig through the sand. Let's let's get in touch with our with our child side. Luck check failure. Digging beneath a stone pillar, you unearth a chest. Inside, you find a rotting human head. Lose reason. <laughs> Good. The neighbor's office at school is empty. Yay, sandcastles. I bet, I bet that god will really appreciate it. He's like, I've always wanted to do something like this. All, all my other followers don't have any sense of joy and amusement in them. Maybe it's because I ate their brains. I'm rotting them from the inside out, but I appreciate what you just did. You do find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to take one jar for home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can he sip his soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Oh, Kana, I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen to you. I made, a, I made a look at the camera, and then I forgot I turned my webcam off. Let's investigate the apartments. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, 
Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of soda inside, but you could really use a drink. Uh, I don't want either one. I'm already out of money. Stop trying to- stop taking my money. Ah, dexterity check. You buy a can of off-brand soda and take a sip. Tastes a little odd, but you enjoy it anyways. Negative one funds. Plus five experience. Oh, it, uh, I didn't lose money. That's weird. I've seen the guy burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. Is this eel even alive? Let's keep investigating the apartments. The telephone sounds, and multiple voices are too loud for you to ignore. When you enter the apartment, everything turns silent. Oh, good. It's a gossip junkie. Oh, she looks great. Oh, look at all those wires coming in and out of her body. Nice. Real good stuff. Luckily, her power is really low, uh, so we shouldn't be able to hit her very easily. Hit the woman. Hit the gossip. That's what she gets for being such a gossip. Trading in secrets. Kill her. Okay, what do we have? Oh, it's base chance to 85. I guess I don't have to really do that. Can probably do something like this. Yeah, we can get more attacks in that way. There we go. Got to work on our turn economy. Uh, let's just slice her a bunch with a broken bottle. Yay! All right, so we've got some options here. Leadership, a bonus to charisma. Discipline, regain stamina for all successful event checks. That it did say negative one funds, but it didn't. Uh, it didn't work, and I'm not going to complain. If we stole from a vending machine, I'm going to be pretty happy about it. Uh, regain one stamina for all event checks that are successful. That's pretty good. Plus one luck. Uh, let's go with the regain stamina. Even if we don't like, we're not doing really well, uh, but we're doing well enough. Uh, at the very least, a free heal every once in a while. I'm not going to complain about. Um, reason's pretty low now. Um, we could boost our our reason, or we could make ourselves a little bit better. I wish I could get. I wish I could get some monies. Let's go to dexterity. There we go. Kano was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes. Alright, so the notes were sent to our... Uh, what's it called? Why can't I think? Storage. Alright, let's uh, put this in storage just for a second while we read the notes. Do 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 do. Blank, blank, blank. Legend from the blank. Prefecture eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. Blank, blah, 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 blah. Eels of the blank, Prefecture, could lay their eggs inside human blank, 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 blank. Well, that just sounds excellent. I'm sure no bad things will happen, and eels will not be inside anybody's body by the end of this. Why would you even insinuate that that would be a prospect? As you prepare to take a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. Um, so I think cold. one of these usually increases reason, the other one increases stamina. Um, I think cold bath increases reason, so let's do that. Nope, got it backwards. Oh no, I just failed my strength check. We are too weak to take a cold bath. <laughs> Your body clearly wasn't prepared for a cold bath, and you can't feel you can feel cold coming on. Yay! <laughs> uh, excellent. Too weak to bathe. Uh, there must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. You shrug noncommittingly. You just wish you could throw this damn jar into the trash. Oh, that damned jar can't resist. Something pulls you towards the beach. A statuette, half buried in the sand, is calling you. Feeling your hands shaking, you take a step closer. Let's take it home. 
The statuette is surprisingly heavier than it looks. Mesmerized, you take it home and wonder where you'll display it. It's a bad idea. All right, no, uh, no nuance there. I wonder what this does. I've, I've never figured that out. I've, only, I think it's on that event has only happened to me once. I don't know what it does. Think about how stupid it is of Kana to try to break into your neighbor's apartment. You go to sleep. What a dumb, dumb bitch. You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is he? Let's go find out. Your friend has asked you to meet them at this at a certain schedule secluded location. Getting there, you find a telescope with a note signed by your friend. The note tells you to take a look through the telescope. He's an eagle now. <laughs> Whoa, uh, eh, you'll find out. You don't see anything at first. Then you notice it. The bloated body of Athialzoth is getting closer. Plus three doom. Let's investigate the neighbor's apartment. Khan has been missing since yesterday. You decided to check out the neighbor's apartment. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around re restlessly. Where the hell is Kana? Uh, so let's see. If we go to uh, the bedroom, I think we can find um, the original neighbor, uh, the guy studying the eels, and he is dead. If we go to the bathroom, I think we can find Kana. I think. I think. Let's try that. Nope, I got it backwards, because I'm a big fat dum-dum. The swollen body of your neighbor is rotting away inside putrid murky waters. Both his eyes are missing, with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. Minus one to reason and stamina. Did a cold bath kill Kana? It, almost, it hurt me. There's Kana. I found the neighbor, but when his eye burst, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye, too. So we can go to the hospital, or we must puncture the eye now. <laughs> Guess what we're doing, gang? We're puncturing the eye. Oh no, I hope you guys aren't squeamish. Here we go. Here's the eyeball. Wee! Oh no. Here we go. Here's the countdown before I puncture this person's eye. Pop goes the eyeball. What's going on, Has Kitty? You made it just in time for eels. One, two, three. Now's your last chance to look away. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, here they come. Hi. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Shocked. Oh, it's a good scene. It's a really fun scene. I really like it. It disturbs me deeply, so I love it. So you are familiar with the uh, with the game Has Kitty? <laughs> Bro, I killed Isaac Clark so many times in that scene in Dead Space. Oh yeah, that's right. I wonder if that's where they. I wonder if that was the inspiration. I've never played. That's the, like the one thing I know about uh, Dead Space. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Can we go back to talk about ichthyology? <laughs> you have 600 hours? Oh, oh, I've got 10. <laughs> At best. So I'm still trying to figure out all the, all the little nuances. It's good to have a... I'm going to consider you an expert. Anybody who has 600 hours in anything, uh, I'm going to consider them very knowledgeable on the topic. So thank you for, uh, thank you for joining me. I, I super appreciate it. This isn't something we usually pre play on my channel. Will Kana even survive the blood loss? Let's take her to the hospital. You rush to the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Half of them is modding. Oh, yeah, I'm playing on Switch. Um, so that is not an option for me. But I've heard the modding community for this game is pretty cool. Your friend... I, I mean, if you're... I don't know. If you're modding, you still, you still gotta, like, know shit. I still consider you knowledgeable. 300 hours is still a lot. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater. They're gonna play. She's gonna put on Hamilton, you, and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. <gasps> Yay! Wake up, dude! You've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes to see your friend Kana is wearing an eye patch. 
Oh, that's why it's 1.0 version. I hate number dis- discrepancies. Yeah, mine, I got the, uh, oh, I guess you can't see it. One moment. Uh, I'll put on this just for a second. I got the uh, the special edition on the Switch. Because I like having physical copies and it came with like cool cards and stuff. Uh, and I like playing in bed. What makes, this game's really fun in bed. <laughs> this game's a good bed game. Just sit in there, do this right before bed, get some nightmares. Good shit. It's good shit. Uh, Khan is wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore. I don't know. You're, you're relatively attractive. You've got an air of mystery about you. <laughs> don't use the cards. They're cursed. It's, it's inscription all over again. Not so pretty anymore. I couldn't tell exactly what the... Couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened, and I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anymore. <laughs> but thank you for saving my life. You're welcome, Kana. So Kana didn't die. If you do the other thing and just take him to the hospital, I think he just dies. Uh, but now Kana's with us. He's a official party member, uh, which is pretty great. <sighs> Make sure you guys are staying hydrated and all that. Uh, you're still processing the events of that previous night. Corpse-eating eels that lay their eggs and eyes. Holy shit. Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying out your neighbor's place. So I've not figured out the third ending for this place yet, or for this mystery. I'm not exactly sure. I'm wondering if there's like an item or a perk that you need, um, but I have not figured it out. <laughs> Looking a bit tired there. <laughs> yeah, uh, Con- uh, you know, for a swimmer, yeah, she's not looking too great. Let's see what the old gods are stirring up today. Do you feel, do you smell what the old gods are stirring? Oh. With more and more students going missing, the police have restricted access to the school. So the library, you cannot go there. You cannot learn spells from the library anymore. Sucks to be you. Let's take our new key. And you know what? It's a new day. Let's get a change of clothes. I like this one. Little, uh... A little bit of jacket. Looks good. Um, let's see here. Ooh, our reason's a little low. Let's let's take a nice cold water bath. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Let's watch some TV. We are shocked after what she did. Her voice was always so calm. There's nothing there. I, I guess you can, like, call numbers, but I haven't found a number to call yet. I'm sure there's like a mystery that it involves, but I haven't figured it out yet. I'm I, I'm too dumb. I'm too much of a big dumb dumb. All right, so we've got far out fable of a fear festival, and bizarre brute of the blood curdling botanist. Um, both of these are pretty. Yes, Dory, what's up? What, Dory? Uh, she went down for her nap. Uh, about an hour ago. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Why? What's that? Uh, she needs to sleep for three hours. She, um, I want her to sleep for about two hours. Babies need lots of sleep. They grow so much. So she's on her second hour. She's getting to her second hour, yeah. yeah. We're just going to let her sleep. We're going to let her, let her feel good. Growing babies need lots of sleep. Boy, it's an, uh, this might be my favorite music in the game. Um, the last couple of times I've played it in bed, I've played it sound off because um, I've been watching TV with my wife. Uh, this might be my favorite. It just got a good, it's got a good vibe. Uh, and then like the like slow version of it is also really good. Uh, do you guys have a preference for which one we do next? Fear Festival or The Botanist? Home vibing, straight vibing. That's all I do. Vibing with the wife. Just play, just play this game while you're watching sitcoms, uh, and you get an equal level of comfort and uh, disgust. And it's basically the, the amazing thing. It's, it's just, it's just what life's all about. Napping comfortably in bed, thinking about the old ones and the end of the world. Yeah, with my, with my Lovecraft book right next to me. Oh, so nice. So nice. If I worship them, maybe they will eat me quickly. And then life will be over in a painless fashion. Um, I'm going, let's try the botanist. What's the worst that could happen? Bizarre brute of the blood curdling botanist. 
Your neighbor asked you to help. Her husband Shiro-san has gone missing. She is worried it might be connected with the new fertilizer he ordered from Tokyo. Where is he? And why did he need so much fertilizer? Alright, so we need to investigate the school twice in order to complete the side quest thing. Uh, so let's go to school. I'm sure the school will know about this man's fertilizer. Maybe the kids are fertilizer. With the trail growing cold, it might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. Oh, dang, we're not paranoid enough. Study issues of local newspapers. It's a waste of time. Um, let's do a little bit of studying. We're too stupid. It was a complete waste of time. <laughs> you spent the whole day reading about cute dogs, giant vegetables, and the occasional accident. You find nothing related to the case. Doom go up. Good job, me. I'm too dumb. All right. Let's investigate the school again. Help me out, Kana. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Non-Euclidean. Stare in disbelief. Negative reason. Good job, us. A new yet undefined species of cordyceps fungus have been observed to infect rats, taking over their bodies. Could it have the same effect with other mammals? Oh no, math! That's, that's the real elder's horror. Going back to school and taking trigonometry. Cordyceps are pretty dope. In real life, they're pretty awesome. To my knowledge, there are no mammalian uh, cordyceps, though. Um, let's see here. You've got the business card of a gardening company maybe the man was working for. Uh, maybe some of his colleagues could tell you something. Let's see, do we have anything to use right now? What was that spell I had? Uh, I could lose some experience to heal my reason. I'll wait. I wonder if you can de-level. Like, I wonder if you're at, like, 103 experience if you use something that loses experience if you lose your level. That'd be pretty weird. I need to try that sometime. Uh, I don't think I have enough money to shop for items. This sucks. I could... I could sell some XP for money, and then maybe I could go and find a knife at, from the dog. Let's let's sell some of our experience. There we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Detective thanks you for the information. Hands you a reward. Thank you. Oh, he looks great. Even he's having a good time. Just what the heck is going on here? <laughs> hey, baby. What's going on? I, did, I decided to do a surprise stream. I was feeling, I was feeling in for it. Uh, so we're playing World of Horror. Bad things are happening. But look at this dog. Look at this freaking dog. I found, uh, I do have the handcuffs, uh, kitty. I got the handcuffs, and I know where the free money is in the beginning of the game. Because Reddit is great. But the children, uh, the children have, uh, children have been taken care of. Uh, the baby is asleep, and the other one uh, is eating lunch. So we're doing okay. Did you boop? <gasps> you can boop the doggo? <gasps> you know, the usual investigating dogs into the world. <laughs> Unspeakable horrors. You know. Weekend stuff. Oh, man, that's good shit. Give me a knife. Let me buy a knife from this dog. None of this stuff is what I need. I need a weapon. I've just been going around slashing people with a broken bottle. Thank you for telling me about the dog. Alright. Our doom's already pretty high. I'm scared about... I'll do one restock. Hardware store? Okay. Is that in the uh, seaside? Yeah. Okay, let's try it has lots of weapons. I hope one of them's dex based. Oh, okay. Um Let's get a pocket knife. I guess it's better than a freaking uh broken bottle. There we go. Thank you. Let's go to our stored items here. 
How's your day go uh, going, baby? Anything crazy? The children are fine. Is is your work fine? Um, actually, let's let's drink this energy drink. There we go. And then we'll bring out the pocket knife. And then we'll equip the pocket knife. It may be useful when something grabs you. Oh, you can use it to automatically escape from combat. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, you can't I can't equip it. Why can I not equip? Oh, it's a, it's it's a trinket. Ah, damn it. Okay. Well, I guess it's there. Next time I get attacked by something. That blows. All right, well, let's investigate. Bye, has kitty. Have a wonderful night. Uh, our day or dinner time, whatever. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Thanks for being cool. Worn out, but I think I'm on top of things. I have a lot of resulting to do. Oh, I'm sorry you're all worn out. I'll I'll try to help as much as I can once uh, once you get home. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, and shadows move in fantastic and uncountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Normal wear and tear, yeah. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. I wish you didn't have such things to worry about. So I can run in terror, I can continue looking, or I can confront the stranger. My perception's fairly high. I have a flashlight. I can look for things. Nope, I can I can fail. I can I can be terrible at everything. You can't seem to find the right tombstone. Waste a lot of time before finally admitting defeat. This sounds like a like a time for us to suck. Shirosan has always been a weirdo, but he's good at what he does. Last month, he ordered a package of experimental fungicide from Tokyo. I think I've seen the dispatch order with an address somewhere, the old man says. Help me move this dirt, and I'll look for it. When my new med kicks in in two hours, it'll be good as new. It sucks that you have to... You, you need that to... Like, to function. I, I wish it weren't so. I think we might purposefully let... The, uh, the old gods win. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. So do we take the little girl home, or do we let the police handle it? I'm going... I already... I know what happens on both of these. Uh, let's take her home. You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. Oh, good, we got experience. But we also lost health. Good job, little girl. <laughs> Terrible things. There's just no such thing as a good thing happening in this game. You thought you were helping a lost child? No. You're helping something in a lost girl's skin kill some mom. What do you mean you didn't understand? You didn't foresee that happening? While the dispatch order is stained with a foul-smelling liquid, you think you can make out the address. At least parts of it. The house is somewhere in the nearby forest. To the forest! A friend returning from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time, they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast, full of exotic meats. It's getting late, and you can't stay for long. But the host asks you if you want to take anything with you. Uh, so we can bring home... We can take some steak. Take home some wine, or refuse. Well, I don't want to be rude. Let's take some wine. Of course, I have enough bottles to last a whole year, your friend says, handling you a bottle. Alright, so what's the wine do? Um, let's store this for a second. What that wine do? <laughs> I'm somewhat of a mycology maniac myself. <laughs> Luckily, you're not this far gone. Use plus three reason. Flip the card. Oh, good. We can become an alcoholic. Let's use it. Yay. Did we get alcoholism? Oh, we got a hangover. Negative one to all stats until the end of the mystery. <laughs> Again, there's no such thing as a good outcome. 
Um, okay, well, let's put this... Let's put this... Em oh, we got an... Oh, now we have an empty bottle, which we can use to store liquids. <gasps> Maybe if we run into that blood again. All right, hopefully some... Hopefully we can do something cool with the bottle. All right, let's get out of here. Time to look through the forests. Dooby doo. The trees overhead block the sunlight and you begin to feel gloomy. Negative reason. A wet splash behind you makes you stop. You slowly turn around to see a young girl sluggishly walking in your direction. In her eyeball, there's a swarm of disgusting worms. One of them falls to the floor with a wet splash. Aw, oh, she looks... Oh. Ah, what a charming young lass. What, what, what charm? What beauty? Alright, so she's going to do damage. So let's brace for impact. So she doesn't kill us. Uh, we've got decent hit chances already. So let's try... Uh, to just... Let's cut her up. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. All right, we'll brace for impact. That's going to lower our hit. So instead of doing two damage, she'll do one, which is pretty good. Um, and let's uh, slash her with a, with a bottle. Bam, bam, bam. We did it. We killed her with a bottle. The dirt road looks promising, but it branches in two different directions. Which one is the correct one? Let's just look around. We defeated the infested girl. In the forest, you hear faint whimpering in the distance. When you find it, you discover a wild dog caught by its hind leg in a bear trap. The dog growls menacingly when you get closer. We gotta risk it for the doggo. No, I'm not looking good. I look pretty bad. Oh, a luck failure. We free the dog, but the rusty mechanism snaps and the trap closes on your hand. Oh, well, I'm sure I didn't need that health. I'll be fine. Ooh, okay, we got a level. That's nice. Let's get a level. All right, our options are quick thinking, plus to dexterity, plus one to charisma with leadership, plus one to knowledge with folklore studies. Um, let's get ourselves extra dexterity for more damage. Um, and I think we need to heal. <laughs> uh, let's give ourselves a... A health buff there. Following a trail of rotten fruit, you stumble on a small forest shrine. It's prob probably dedicated to some local spirit. The small statue looks alien and menacing. Um, so we could pray or destroy it. Um, let's destroy it? Luck failure. You topple the evil-looking statue. Nothing seems to happen, but you have a terrible feeling about it. Yay, doom. When was the last time we succeeded? You have a feeling that you're being watched, and when you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There is someone standing in the trees, just a few meters away. Uh, so if we had a special ally with us, we could do something interesting, but we don't, so let's confront. Hey, we succeeded on a luck throw. Luck roll. It's just a creepy scarecrow. <laughs> Relieved, you decide to leave the area, just in case. So we got a little bit of free XP from that, that's nice. The Abandoned Hut. You discover an old campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down, and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Search the tent, investigate clues, ignore the tent. Uh, let's look for some clues. Perception failure. Did wolves learn how to walk on their hind legs? Man, I suck. Why can't I get something that makes it so that when I fail things, I'm better? Our master is coming, and we... It, we all can bask in its glory. Oh, look at this guy! Oh, what a charming fellow. A glitched magician. Alright, well, let's brace for combat. Otherwise, he's going to just start dooming us all over the place. Oh, alright, 95% chance to hit. That's good. Let's uh, slap this glitch. Nice. 17 health still. So we're just going to keep on doing damage. 
Bam, bam, bam. And we just keep knocking them down. So we got four damage there. Let's just uh, do that. One of these will hit. Hooray! We killed him. And the world is better off for it. You are surprised to find a well-dressed man sitting on a rock in the middle of a forest. When you get closer, however, you discover that he's wearing a realistic mask that falls to the ground. Do you have a moment to speak about this product? Ah, he's a dream salesman. Wow. Now that's a trustworthy face. There's just something about him. I think, I think he's going to be all right. I think he's really got my best interests in, in, in heart. Either way, let's smack him with a, bar, uh, with a bottle. You're trying to eat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll do better. <laughs> there, he's gone. It's okay. We stumbled upon a half-eaten deer carcass, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. Our reason is almost dead. We're, we're about to lose our damn mind. Uh, let's, um, let's heal ourselves real quick. There we go. That's fine. Now we're not nearly as dead. Finally, after what felt like hours of following the dirt road, you find the old mansion. It's completely overgrown with plants you've never seen before. In front of the mansion, there's gardening, a company minivan filled with boxes. Slowly, you enter the building with caution. Standing in the middle of the floor, uh, you stand in the middle of the room when suddenly the floor gives way and you fall down to the basement. Falling through the hole in the floor, you find yourself in an overgrown basement. In the corner lies a man you recognize. It's Shirosan, the missing gardener. You must help him escape this cursed place. Plants are attacking you. You must protect the injured Shirosan and lead him to safety. So here's the thing about uh, old, Sh old Shiro-san here. Uh, you can protect him. You can lead him. You can't go through the doorway. Or you can take a little closer look here at Shiro-san. Shiro-san, what's going on with you? Let's take a closer look. Oh no, he's just, he's, he's a fungus man. The top of Shiro's head flies off, revealing his brain. Out of it bursts the fruiting body of a fungus. Ah, that's nice. That's real nice. So he does three damage to all. This is bad. This is very bad. Let's go ahead and uh, heal again. <laughs> Ooh, sexy, sexy. Look at that mustache. Ooh. What'd that mustache do? What the what those fruiting bodies do. Alright, so let's brace for impact. The good thing about bracing for impact is that it rounds in your favor. So it uh, lowers incoming damage by half. Uh, so instead of it doing rounding up to two points of damage from 1.5 it rounds down to one so we definitely want to brace for impact here um, and we are just going to uh, slice them up there we go we missed one but I'm sure it'll be fine so let's brace ourselves and kill him continuously kill him there we go everything's fine everything's fine if I keep saying it it will be true so we only have... We need to hit three times. Let's just hit a bunch and hope three of these hit. Okay, good. I didn't want to have to risk going through another uh, round of combat there. The fungus dies, and with it, the gardener. With no body to grow from, you hope that that's the end of it. You finally understood something. The plants weren't attacking you. They were protecting you from the unnatural life form. Weakened, you stumble out of the mansion, hoping to forget. Bizarre brute of the blood-curdling botanist ending B. So gain some experience, gain some more experience, some doom go away. Got a little bit of a heal. Not enough. Let's see what those old gods are cooking for us. The friendly dog disappeared last night. <gasps> You'll have to find a new place to buy equipment. <sighs> Damn. 
At least we got our boops in when we could. The shop is disabled. Well, my day's ruined. Let's take that key. And let's get ourselves an outfit change. Let's give ourselves this nice white t-shirt. There we go. And let's take a bath. Let's give ourselves a reason. Reason boost. I'm becoming more reasonable by the day. Oh, and there's our fun statue. Hi, statue. It is pretty creepy. Uh, all right, so there's a pretty high chance we don't make this just because of doom levels. Like an 85% with one mystery left. Not good. Hey, Dory, what's up? You good? It's Cthulhu-chan. We love him. What's up, Dory? Cthulhu is uh, an elder god who's got like an octopus for a face. That one. And he's going to... He's... Uh... I guess we can't see him right here. Yeah. Oh, this... Oh, yeah. This guy right here. I forgot I have him as a thing. Mommy says hi. Michael, That's Mama. Hi, Mama. Michael, mama. Micro Mama is your Mama. Your aunt has sent you a letter inviting you for a curious-sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress. Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen, you ask yourself as you board the bus? So I have not really figured this one out. Um, there's a lot of things to investigate. You're on like a strict time limit, uh, but I haven't figured out the puzzle exactly yet. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village, and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. A fat man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Your group has arrived in the village and are currently unpacking at the inn, giving you some time to explore. The festival begins in the evening. So we can check out our room, which we can get a heal from, so we might do that, or we can explore the village. So let's go here. We're going to relax a bit. You patch up your wounds and enjoy nature, so a nice buff to reason and stamina. A little bit of a heal. We need it. We're, we're, we're struggling out here. At the very least, I don't want to die because of this, of lack of reason or stamina. I want to die for a lack because doom gets too high, because uh, I think that's a different kind of ending. So if I'm going to lose, I want to at least lose in a different way. Uh, the festival grounds are now open for visitors. Maybe you should check it out. Uh, so we can enjoy the festival, or we can explore, or we can just uh, check out the room again. Uh, let's explore the village. No one answers when you knock at the professor's door. This is odd since he's usually punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you something's wrong. Uh, let's search for clues. Knowledge success. Very good. Us. You notice a book lying on the floor. You pick it up. Find that four pages have been torn out. You memorize the title. Gain XP. The festival grounds are now open. Maybe you should check it out. All right. So let's enjoy the festival. Um, what are our options here? We can enjoy, we can buy, we can look for friends. Let's enjoy the festival. You break out into a cold sweat when you see the street vendor's twisted grimace. You back off, wishing it was only a mask. Today's goal, learn more about the festival itself. A weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge, one by one. They light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Who are they? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? Um, let's see. Let's, let's go into the forest. What's the worst that could happen? It is said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has steeped into it, seeped into it. 
so we can tap into his power or it's too risky. We don't have a hermit ally, so that kind of sucks. Taking a deep breath and heading back in. Can't wait to see you. Good luck, baby. I love you. I believe in you. I will see you soon. It's risky. Disturbed by, disturbed by your surroundings, you take a step back and trip on a branch, and we lost some stamina. Good job. Uh, let's explore. Oh. People point at and talk about a man on the corner side of the street, the other side of the street. He looks confused, muttering to himself while occasionally touching a festering wound on his cheek. You stop in your tracks and listen to the man's cursed incantation. Gain a spell. <gasps> Skin removal? Yeah. Hot bath. Improved resting at home. Running shoes. Smaller doom penalty from running. Outdoorsman. Uh, you know, we're, doing, we're doing some forest work. Let's go there. And let's heal our reason. Something is watching you from behind the trees. Well, uh, let's go see if we can find what it is. Your compass helps you find your way. Hearing some rustling behind a bush, you decide to hide behind a tree. There you spot three men, each armed with a rifle. They're obviously looking for something, or someone. So last time I did this, I tried to reveal myself. Uh, and I lost, uh, I did not, I did not pass the, the roll. I think it was a charisma roll. Uh, and they just shot me and I died. So I'm just gonna run away. Dexterity check success. You run, quickly leaving the hunter behind you. You stop when you reach the edge of the forest for today's goal. Who knows? Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They are talking about something, awakening at the next dawn. You wonder what's up with that? It's not safe here. You decide to block the entrance to your room with a nightstand. The festival is ending tomorrow, and you can't be too careful. Um, let's see. So the festival, not there. We can explore the village, or we can continue to explore the forest. I don't really know what's going to happen. Let's explore the forest. Walking through a tree nursery, you suddenly stop. Something feels off. Isn't it too early for the leaves to change their color? Before you can continue your investigation, someone grabs your leg. Yeah. Yeah, that's gross. I like that. It's Bark Woman. Everyone's favorite character, Bark Woman. All right, well, let's just slash her a bunch. Breaking news. Doom levels on an all-time high. The Prime Minister has no plans. It is pretty high. We are probably not going to win. But maybe the Elder God will be really cool. Maybe this guy will be really awesome. I hope. The weird sounds coming from the forest kept you up at night. What could it mean? What could it possibly mean? Let's uh, cast Memory Extract again to heal ourselves. There we go. Let's explore the forest again. Our master is coming. So we can bask in the glory. Oh, the magician's back. Hi, magician. Well, let's uh, brace for impact here. And, ooh, look at that. Our, our chance to hit is 105, so we're doing great. So I can hit three there, so that's four, four, four. That's 13 damage. Or I can do three five times for 15 damage. So, yeah, this is the better option. Bam, 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 bam killed him. Do doink, doink, doink. Hooray! Alright, why is it so quiet all of a sudden? Where is everybody? All this blood. Today's goal, find the missing people. A trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to the outskirts of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest there's an answer waiting. Alright. So we can rest at camp, or we can explore. I think we must explore. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this person looks cool. While exploring the factory, you are caught by masked people you've seen from the end's window. After tying you up, they bring you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come, you hear a raspy voice. Your aunt's voice, coming from behind the priest's weird mask. She signals towards, doors, towards the door behind him. 
Our master is waiting for the final blood sacrifice. Uh, let's struggle. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is going to end really well. Uh-oh. Oh, hi, friend. <laughs> that didn't... I... <gasps> With a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears, and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blacking out are the beams of a flashlight and the hand of a police officer saving you from the fall. Later that day, detectives interrogating you are confused when you tell them about the ritual blood in Eldritch being. The village is abandoned. With no trace of blood anywhere, you are the only one seeing the ancient horror. So that was ending A. I wonder if we can find this mask. Maybe that'll help. Uh, like, maybe they won't catch us and we can, like, take part in the ritual in some way. I don't know. Well, you couldn't catch the leader of the cult to interrogate them. The people are safe. Did you win? I survived. <laughs> you board the old bus, wondering what would happen if you didn't stop the ritual in time. So gain some experience. Doom go down. Yay. So the last thing. Time skip. What? I'd have sworn it was Monday, not Tuesday, right? Oh, so that was bad. That was just five doom. So we have to get through this last gauntlet at the lighthouse with only 4% doom left to spare. Doesn't seem like it's in our favor. All right. I don't think it's going to happen. The ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than... Hey, buddy. You all right? Yeah. Okay. We're about to, about to lose the game. Said we're about to lose. <gasps> no. It's okay. You're kind of supposed to lose. Let's unlock the locks. And enter. You finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things. I like pronouncing it cursed. It's fun. It's fun and silly that way. Cursed. cursed. I know. Sometimes I like pronouncing things in funny ways. Like, where, like, like with that. Cursed, what other I don't know. Other things that end in ed. So instead of saying id, you can say ed. I jumped from my bed. I cutted my food. Cut. <laughs> oh, there's another micro mommy. Yep. Mama had to go back to work. Micro mommy. I'm trying to eat. <laughs> micro mama. That's right. Yep. All right, I'm almost done there, buddy. Uh, so uh, give me like give me like five more minutes, and then I'll then we'll go and play. All right? Okay. All right. Huh? Yeah, we can play in the trunk. The car trunk. Uh, whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place, and that you should run away from this place as far as and fast as you can. You're afraid there won't be a way back once you start climbing. Um, so. If you had Doom to spare, you could rest here and get some stamina and reason back. Uh, but that's not going to happen for us. So there's just a bit of a gauntlet here um, of things you kind of just have to survive. A whole bunch of just random checks that you have to make. Uh, so we'll see. I doubt we're going to do it. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped. Wait a minute. Someone has been taking photos focused on you. The photos include the enemies you fought with. There's something wrong, but you can't precisely say. Select the second enemy we fought. Ooh, God. Goblin Seal, Gossip Junkie, the Cult Member, or the Infested Girl. Shit. Um, was it the Goblin Seal? I'm going to say Goblin Seal. <gasps> it was right! You rip the photo. Underneath it is a tiny button. You press it, and with a buzz, the gate opens. Ooh, man. I don't think it's 98% and each one of these screens uh, is 1% up. So I don't, th I think we're just going to get like right in front of the door. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by darkness. A thick black cloud is obscuring your vision and you can swear something is waiting for you. So another good reason to have um, the flashlight. 
election rigged. <laughs> There's no way to make it. Uh, let's, you know what, we're about to die, but you know what, sometimes you gotta just invest in an ice hot bath. So we get a last little level up there. Let's light our way. Uh, the light source seems to somehow repel the darkness and you continue climbing the staircase. More XP. For no reason. Uh, following 99%. It's over. It's over, gang. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by a metal gate. The tiny page nailed to the gate explains that opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods. Using your own body as a natural conductor, you'll power up the gate. Not enough knowledge. You grab the rods, electricity flowing through your body and burning the nerve endings. The pain is almost unbearable, but with a buzz, the gate opens. So if you have a, sm a higher of enough knowledge check, uh, you don't lose health for that. Uh-oh. End. Uh, you are stopped by a girl wearing a dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for a bag. It's too late anyways. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hand. You have to think fast. <laughs> Let's try to reason with her. Not enough charisma. You try to talk her into allowing you to pass, but suddenly she raises the knife and slices right across her own throat, nearly decapitating herself. You carefully step over her body. Negative two reason. <gasps> oh no. Under the mysterious ath influence, the city is engulfed in chaos. All the Eldritch magic made our planet a bright waypoint for the bloated old god. And a tasty treat. Within the next ten years, Earth will be devoured, and there's nothing you can do about it anymore. So, whenever you lose to a doom, whatever Elder God you have uh, chosen gives you a special ending. For, like, dying for reason or dying for stamina loss, um, those are pretty basic ending losses like oh you died uh, but at least dying through doom is cool like look at this this is beautiful I don't mind dying if it's by this this handsome fellow <laughs> he's a Kirby final got boss that's right it's like uh, the cloud Gordo not Gordo I don't remember I used to know those names you've perished cause of death earth devoured <laughs> All right, backstory, yep. So, incoming, then... Yep. I don't know, I really don't know what, like, any of this stuff does. <laughs> you saw, at least we solved the mysteries. We saw nine new events, we encountered eight new enemies, and we unlocked two new achievements. So, we did get something from it, that's nice. I'll take it. So, let's see if it'll tell us what we unlocked. Beep. Let me see if I can do the cool thing about this game. So, okay, I'm here I am. Uh, if you come back into the game... Oh, I didn't do it. Sometimes there's like a little freaky guy that just pops up if you go back and forth. Congrats for losing. Thank you. We were really close. <laughs> uh, so let's see. What did we... What did we get? Endings Encyclopedia... So, Reason Loss puts you in an insane asylum. Asathoth, right there. The Mouth Slit. So, I don't even know how I... I don't remember how I got that one. Someone just killed us in a very special way. I think you die if you die from a like special attack. From, like, a boss enemy. Sometimes that'll happen. Oh, and then you can survive. But it's a generic survive. So, is it, re is it even freaking worth it? You survive, like, a little... Freaking basic bitch. Uh, Alright, let's check our achievements. What did we get here? Not that. Defeat the janitor. Investigate a bunch of places with a compass. That could have been that could have been that. Meet your other neighbor. <laughs> Guess we did that. Complete. So you can unlock lots of different spells, items. Outfits. The Hermit Ally? Roll a one during a stat check. <laughs> uh, unlock a new character. I wish I could figure out exactly... 
exactly what I could do here. Oh, I guess it does kind of tell you what to do. Join the club. Hmm. Buy and return an expensive drug. <laughs> As Yashiro, complete a true believer playthrough with Kthak Athrasu as the old god. Equip Carpenter, Hammer, and both expel evil and regeneration. Huh. Okay. So I think I'm actually too stupid for this game. I think is that I think that's what I've learned, is that I'm too much of a dum-dum. I'm not good enough. Uh, but anyways, thanks for playing with me, guys. Uh, it was a fun, interesting time. It was a it was an interesting use of our sanity. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's something I just don't know. It's probably one of those games where you just have to continuously play it. Um, and then just things kind of like line up in a certain way. Like, oh, you got this item and that like does something. I don't know. I'm too shit. It was a blast. Thanks. Yeah, if, if it's anybody's interest, uh, you can get it on Switch for, I think it's only like 20 bucks. Um, and then on PC, I know it's got a lot of modding to it. I don't know anything about what the mods do, but I've heard the modding adds a lot of playtime. Uh, so if it's something that you're interested in, join the mod or figure out how to do stuff on PC, get involved with the mods, and then join the Reddit. Uh, both of those things seem very helpful. I didn't end up getting anything done. By the way, you just sat here and watched. Aw, thanks, Jabroni. Thanks for uh, wasting your time with me. <laughs> I appreciate it. I had fun. If people are interested in it, I'll do this again. Like, I don't know. There, It says there are five people here, but that could be anything. It's probably just the usual five people. Um, but thank you. If you lurked here and you had a good time and you're not already part of the Discord, uh, what are you doing with your sorry life? Come and join my Discord, where I do silly things badly all the time. Uh, and you can get updates on things. This was a surprise stream, uh, so I'll be back to normal later this week. Um, I'll probably take Monday off because my wife has the day off. Uh, but I'll do Monday and Friday, or Wednesday and Friday again as per usual, and we'll go back to our usual strategy game nonsense. Uh, if you like what you're doing, uh, check out the YouTube, check out the Discord, check out the, the following, follow me, whatever, I don't know. Uh, is anyone else playing this game? Let me see if we can uh, raid somebody. Is anyone else playing this crazy game that I can learn from? Do do world of horror boom 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 world of horror we are going to suck and it's only me I'm the only douchebag playing all right uh, I guess that's it have a great day guys be cool uh, love yourselves uh, don't summon any, don't summon any elder gods without me uh, and uh, I'll see you in your streams bye.